Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to make a small video, short video update about uh, healing regulators for United States and Canada. Well, we receive a lot of questions from you guys and people who are interested in purchasing a boiler, distiller and heating regulator. So there is a questions uh, and most of them, are you able to make a heating regulator for my country? And answer is yes. So today I'm going to show you a few examples of how it's going to be uh, looking like. Let's go for it. Well, over here I have a plenty of equipment, as you can see, and these two regulators are already made for you guys, for United States and Canada. And today I'm going to take them and test it out and show you how it performs. And this is the most interesting thing for today. <laughs> yeah, this is transformer, Russian made, uh, transformer from 230 volts to 120 volts, so we can understand of how these guys are operating and as you can see there's a two uh, circuits yeah the switch to turn this thing on and uh, with the m2 plus we're able to see the parameters and on this display and understand how much power voltage and amps we are having in the boiler i have 1650 watts element which is pretty good one stainless steel uh, with a two inch three clamp connection yes and this is our four pin connection for the heating element why are we using this one uh, well this is like a really high quality uh, block and uh, let me show you circuit well these are made for the military <laughs> equipment so it's very durable. I cannot say how solid it is. So uh, it can handle up to 660 volts and 32 amps. Well, yeah, we could make uh, like this simple equipment, but with this thing, you don't have any problems. So that's why we uh, buying them a lot and we're selling uh, worldwide and in Russia as well. Uh, they do not burn out and this is the most important thing and also the safety just let me show you an example of how safety it is yeah so this is a like a basic m1 uh, heating regulator so it's just like a switch yeah so we open the circuit and install the plug and then uh, leave this safety thing so you're not able to unplug it even if you take it with the, your hand power yeah and this is 15 amp uh, plug united states standard yeah so we basically have to just turn it in in <laughs> install it yeah oh yeah here we go and let me add some water so here we go i added water and let's install the thermometer somehow just to see that element is working oh gosh yeah i hope it don't fall anyway and yeah i just unpacked this device yep here we go and this is like usual the basic model we have just a usual switch to uh, receive the maximum power and let's wait for it oh yeah i already feel the temperature yeah you, you probably see the temperature is rising 37 degrees 40 degrees yeah and oh shit yep basically it's fold <laughs> yeah. and if you're gonna look to the heating element itself so you see the bubbles uh, it's operating yeah well it's not the really thing that we can uh, have a look and understand what's going on so let's 
during the M2 Plus regulator. It's just the usual model we have, nothing specific. Oh. Yep, so the hidden, hidden element stays in the boiler. And let's use M2 Plus. Well, the difference about the, the Russian model and the model for the United States, well, just let me show you. We have different switches. So over, over here is a like, great, really uh, durable switch, which is for 40 amps. Uh, well, yes, you don't need that huge amount of power. There's nothing about it, but we just want you to have like a, a solid uh, unit where it's going to be no problem during the uh, lifetime. Well, yeah, and uh, the second thing about it is it has a 110, 120 volts uh, fan. Yeah, so it's a AC cooling fan. So the air sucks from the radiator, which is in here. You probably see the holes. So, and it, if, it works with a Russian controller where you can regulate the voltage. So it's uh, like PVM, yeah? And there's no solid state relay or something like that. There's a, a tyristor, yeah, where a crystal and uh, regulation of voltage is happening. I might be uh, wrong, but I, I'm not a good electrician, but I'm, I'm learning about that. So if you like a good electrician, yeah, write any comments you like. So let's plug it in. Well, yeah, just clean some space over here. And yeah, let's plug this thing in. Yeah, so you probably can hear that fan started working. Yeah, so it's operating always and it's fine. And over here, yeah, you probably see the parameters, the voltage. 123 watt, watts, volts, <laughs> 16, 17 uh, watts. So the fan, uh, their controller is taking the power. So we see that it's like 17 watts. The amps, which is taking, yeah, the gigahertz. Yeah, there's nothing too crazy about the 50 or 60 hertz. I was speaking with the uh, electricians, it's not a deal, uh, it, it can operate no matter whether it hurts 60 or 50. And the controller, and this controller is uh, flashing because we did not install, insert a uh, heating element. Yeah. yeah, so basically we just need to turn this thing on. Yeah, and you probably also can hear the noise from there transformer so it's uh this thing reduces the voltage so that's why there's some strange noise and everything is uh, happening by the same way with the heating element because we are reducing the uh, valves yeah of the electricity and that's why we hear the noise but if it's going to be operating with the maximum power yeah let me just yeah yeah this one, yeah. Right now it's operating with 125 uh, volts and let's decrease this amount, so yes, yeah, 50 17 volts, yeah. So the power is right now 600 watts, so we just using the small amount and we can operate it with the stable parameter all the time and the noise yeah it's because of the transformer you won't have this noise <laughs> yeah if you will use uh, the everything in your outlets and your circuits at home well it's the just the thing <laughs> nothing too crazy about it and yeah yeah the heating element is working yeah, I can feel the heating and the thermometer is also reading the temperature. So yeah. Mm. 
yeah so let's regulate it to the maximum power we have and it's going to be about 120 volts yeah so we can see that the amount of voltage we're having is 118 and this thing is more accurate so we see that it's 113 well the voltage fell down a little bit due to the regulation and the power supply of this thing well the transformer is not that really great thing to regulate uh, this power but it's a thing where we can test it and see how this thing operate and we can see that we have 160 as uh, uh, what thousand and six hundred and twenty three watts so it's almost maximum power but we don't have maximum because well we, we have only hundred and thirteen volts and we if we decrease this amount to hundred and eleven yeah so we will be staying with this parameter with with the stable parameter actually so you probably see that it's not going anywhere one thousand five hundred seventy 475 76 <laughs> watts yeah so very accurate controller yeah but if you go higher yeah the regulator will have not enough power to stabilize so that's why it's flashing so if you have more than 125 you're able to run it with a higher voltage just be aware that you can burn uh, your heating element but with the low voltage it's not the case if it's going to be like 150 yeah you probably will burn it but 120 25 26 so 30 35 you probably won't have any problems yeah so you can see the amount of volts the amount of amps, 13 amps, 1472 watts, the hertz. Yeah, it's also flashing a little bit because of this transformer. Yeah, and the amount of kilowatt. So, yeah, you can uh, reset this uh, by pushing on this button and you can understand how much electricity you taking during the distillation and calculate the amount of and calculate the amount of money you've spent on <laughs> during the distillation well let me just turn this thing off to <laughs> hear me better so yeah that's a short video so you're able to see that we are able to make uh, heating regulators for united states and canada uh, yeah and we also working on two-phase system which is uh, like uh, 240 volts yeah uh, pvm probably is going to be uh, made by us as well but we need to have more time to test it out because you know the split phase is kind of tricky one we don't have it in europe and russia so we have to figure out how to test it and uh, then provide it to you guys well i have few thoughts in my mind that i have to test the thing a whole distillation process on a liquid management distiller and it's going to be a video about kit yeah kit for liquid management for two and a half inch cooling management distillers so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe on our youtube channel and we will see how this thing operates on like small one and a half inch cooling management oh sorry liquid management distiller thank you guys happy distilling